the appointment of retired Judge James Patterson has been the topic of discussion among many political luminaries. Stacey Carmichael provides this special report from some astute politicians validating the president's decision. The president's decision to appoint Justice James Patterson as the new chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, has attracted many comments. Some even have attempted to discredit the head of state's action. However, Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu believes the president has acted in accordance with Article 1612 of the Constitution. The PM is quoted, In a case where the leader of the opposition failed to submit a list, as provided by the Constitution, the president would appoint as GCOM chairman a judge, a former judge, or a person qualified to be a judge. The president is not required to go beyond these qualifications, not even to explore finding someone who would otherwise qualify as fit and proper person. The president is not required also to consider or extract any names from the failed list. When the selection process reaches this stage, names do not matter. What matters is the intervention of the president under the relevant constitutional provision, guided by the principle that a person is qualified and competent, end quote. On the matter of age, award-winning journalist Adam Harris in an article published on October 21, titled, A President's Decision Creates a Hornet's Nest, alluded to the fact that Justice Patterson was appointed to head the commission of an inquiry into the Cam Street riots of March 3, 2016. Quote, no one thought that he was too old when he was selected. In fact, I did not hear a peep from anyone. I suppose one year in his life makes a big difference. The harsh reality is that the critics feel that Jack Dio had the God-given right to appoint the chairman of the Elections Commission. That didn't happen. So like the little boy who picks up the cricket bat and ball and decides that no game shall be played because he dissented with a decision, Jack Dio is threatening to pick up his bat and ball. End quote. Harris pointed out too, among other things, quote, the first was the contention that President Granger is indecisive. He was said to be indecisive when he pondered over the list. Then he made a decisive choice and is being pilloried for it. End quote. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Basil Williams brought some perspective to the matter in a statement where he noted, quote, the submission of the list does not mean that the president is obliged to accept the list or the persons named in it. If the president is of the view that a list is deficient either in totality or in the names that have been included, he can exercise his discretion to deem the entire list unacceptable. If the president considers that one or more persons on the list is not a fit and proper person and therefore unacceptable, then he may decide to reject the entire list or being incomplete or restrictive, or he may decide to choose one of the persons if they qualify even though every other name on the list is not acceptable, therefore the whole list need not be rejected. For InfoHub, Stacey Carmichael.